to put some thought into this one because obviously the crow is available. They may want the crow for themselves, but Nova could just take that away from them. Uh, it's a it's a kind of a difficult spot to be in, but they're gonna ban the Celeste. They do choose to take away something from Truth. But again, he does still have that Idris available if they want to go that route. I think it would be smart for Nova to pick up the Cruel here because generally you want to take it away from Pondy Original. Not only that, when Pondy Original goes up against Cruel, he likes to play Rhyme against it. That's his counterplay to it. Now that Rhyme is already banned, it would be a great pickup for Nova. The only thing is it would leave CP Idris open to be picked up for Rogue. And with the Cruel into Idris isn't the greatest of times for a Kroll. It's very easy for an Idris to kite Kroll away, especially if he grabs a Frostburn in the kit somewhere. And uh, so it, it's, again, now tough choice right back over to the side of Nova. Do you go for the Kroll? Do you go for something like the Black Feather? Instead, they're going to completely change it up and take a Samuel. That could be a flex, Samuel. I know Lone Delphi is extremely talented on this hero specifically. He's played it in the past many times when Samuel was more meta. But we have seen Samuel used in the lane, in, in the North American side especially, a little bit more this update. We saw Best Chuck use it with TSM yesterday. They did not win with it, but it's a hero that can work. Um, the Celeste ban coming out of Rogue, I think, was a smart ban just because that's another hero that Truth can perform really well on and carry his team. Well, there's going to be the Cruel coming on through that we talked about earlier. Pon loves to play that Cruel in the jungle. And he's going to be able to grab that for himself. And now Rogue have to finish out this draft and we'll see what direction they want to go with when it comes to the carry. Man, they, again, I want to see Hammy on these hyper carries, the late game carries. Scarf is exactly one of them and can do rather well with this composition that they have lined up. Obviously, Samuel can get body blocked very easily by a Kroll and a Lance on the front line. So they need something on the side of Nova that can get past that front line and get the damage onto the Scarf. Blackfeather has made it all the way through this draft. This is probably the furthest through a draft we've seen Blackfeather get all day, I, I think. I mean, North America just doesn't prioritize the Black for the pick as much as Europe. The Scarf Kroll Lance composition, although, is extremely strong. It does lack... Um, on the front of sieging when Scarf is not yet scaled up. But once he does, they're going to have so much sieging potential where they can take the down the turrets very easily, especially with the Cruel coming up to the lane and trying to get a pick or two if they catch Truth out of position, which generally doesn't happen very easily. But if they do and get a kill, they can snowball off of it and the Vox comes out too for Truth. My big concern here is there is very little CC other than the actual gauntlet itself to stop a Dragon's Breath out of this Scarf. Hammy, if he can get in a good position, if he can build up his stacks, he's going to tear through health bars. Yeah, there's also the fact that they don't have a great way to get onto the Scarf in the first place. Like, you're not going to be able to get past the Kroll and Lance with your damage on the Samuel. Vox, if you try and go flying on through, they're just going to turn to you and take you down on your way to the Scarf. So it's a, it's a tough composition to execute for the side of Nova. All right, well, it's time to get into game number two of this series. We'll see whether Rogue can pull themselves back in or if Nova are looking for their second 2-0 of the week. Hashtag Vainglory8. Let's pass it back to Humanist and Sean Ostino. Hashtag Munchables is the man. Begun. The battle has begun. We have Rogue versus Nova here. And I got to say, Sean, this feels like to me that the Vox is a little better suited in this game than game one. I feel like he is. He's going to be able to use those Sonic Zooms to reposition himself, especially when it comes to a Cruel, maybe trying to jump on him, jump on the back line, the semi-back line. The, uh, we actually see a uh, Sharpshooter coming out for uh, Truth there, and it looks like the two carries are rotating through the jungle together, and Eco frontlining a little bit. Eco trying try to make the plays, but he was rooted up there couldn't vanguard but he had boots as well as his healing flask so he can really afford to play those games so both the, the carry the jungler uh, are able to take the back rotation but this means pawns taking his whole rotation by himself yeah he is which is uh it's pretty good we, we're gonna need to see that cruel get up there in uh, his levels to especially get that level six power spike to have that uh that from hell's heart come out for the up. impale nice dodge by truth and uh, Truth gets the Vanguard as well, so he's doing just fine. You can see, like, a lot of uh, compositions, you'd find that kill, but not against the Vox. No, not against the Vox. See, and that's exactly what we were talking about just a minute ago, that if he's able to just Sonic Zoom and reposition away from those Impales and these dives that are going to be coming out of Rogue, then uh, Truth is going to be feeling pretty good in these games. Truth feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. 
Got paired up with Sean Austino, watching Truth do a little dance. And another Sonic Zoom dodges the impale. He'll <laughs> sniffing that one out. He knew that he was porting in that top brush there. So these guys playing games, you can you can tell that, you know, they go head to head a lot. They, they're very predictive in their movements. I wanted to point out that Hemi actually is holding a minion candy, so he's waiting for the right opportunity to use that to go ahead and push up this wave that, that's probably coming uh, from right behind him, actually, under this this turret for uh, the side of Nova. Uh, there's that minion candy that's going to allow him to port back and uh, buy some extra items there. Picks up yep. that uh, heavy prism, it looks like, and he's he's got his goop now. He's going to be able to throw down some burning oil, burning midnight oil there. Hmm. Scarf burning the midnight oil. Yep, and he, it's pretty good, but once again, this is another, uh, you know, set of abilities that Vox does pretty well with, you know, like, the the, the worst thing is that if Hammy can predict where a Sonic Zoom's gonna go and drop the goop and ignite it there, but oftentimes Truth will be able to get himself out, he's just constantly trying to predict and, and avoid Spitfires in the lane here, and it's gonna be so incredibly important to him, Hammy's here being protected by Evil, Evil with the Impale, as so Eco drops down into the jungle ponds, fighting over the Elder Treant right now, and he'll be able to grab it as Lundelfi definitely uh, was attempting to take that. Eco taking so much damage. Hammy actually dropping down now. It's gonna force the healing flask down out towards the west. Delphi gets his backs. Oh no, Delphi was trying to take the back away from Pawn. But Pawn was able to secure it himself. Delphi's kind of in a bad place now. You would expect that Evil will drop down from the lane, and there he is. He oh. walks right into the impale. Pawn's there as well. Delphi, I'm sorry, my friend, but First you're dead. Blood. First blood coming through. I am sorry, Delphi, but uh, you were in just a bad position right there, my friend. Uh, the thing about Samuel is that if he's not in his drifting dark, he's not going to be able to kite around fights very well. And uh, it looks like Pawn, Pawn was going in right there. But yeah, Lone Delphi, he's not the best at repositioning, uh, not like Vox is. So getting caught out by that impale was a really bad thing for him. Yeah, that was a really bad thing. And a lot of times players can kind of... You know, since that coming, but I guess he had no idea where the Lance was dropping down from. Made it almost too easy. Uh, the jungle will intensify here, Sean. Jungle so we'll have to keep our eyes on that. It has intensified. Hammy's actually sitting on about uh, 1,400 gold. We see Pawn the original at uh, 1,800, 1,900 now. Uh, he's going to be able to hit a pretty good power spike once he gets back and uh, purchases some items. I could see him going for maybe a tension bow. Three evil goes in. Pale. Three men, give them all evil. Who are you? Oh my goodness, Hammy will be able to get back. Evil pays for it. Pawn, he's locked on to Truth here. He's going to stay on him, try to activate the Spectre Smite right at the end. Drops 272 coming through. And not enough damage to find the kill. Hammy's sticking around. He's got a lot of gold to spend. Pawn, so much gold. Over 2,000 gold like you just mentioned. So these guys, I mean, they already had a great engagement and found a kill. They're going to be that much stronger. They're going to be that much stronger. Pawn, the original, going a little bit low. But uh, it looks like those Malice and Verdicts are coming up, but they're not going to quite connect. Delphi oh, 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 almost just with the tip catching him for the kill there. And Delphi, really, he, he, he is a great Samuel. He is a great Samuel. Uh, I just like to see him clean up his gameplay a little bit. He's going to be hitting that level 6 power spike pretty soon. Get himself oh, that the Oblivion. Impale truth, but Sonic's going to get the Invoke coming out of Evo. They got the kill, oh, Hammy. Oh. Landing the Spitfire damage and the basic attack. Nice plays. Yeah, nice plays. Pawn the original is going to have to frontline much better for his team here. Uh, I really know that he plays a wicked, wicked Cruel. So if he's able to get some really good utility out of this Cruel, throw down some boomerangs that can stun up the members of Nova really well, well, we're going to see some good plays later on. You know, one of the things I'm seeing out of Delphi that I like so much with his Samuel is that he's always proccing the Corrupted Genius off an opponent. Uh, and never off of minions, like when he has the, the opportunity or jungle monsters, and he gets so much sustain out of that, like he constantly has energy to be throwing the Drifting Darks in the Malisenberg. That's right, and that is one of the hero perks that uh, Samuel does have. Works out pretty well for him for the sustain, especially since we've had a lot of sustain nerfs in a 2.8 patch. Yeah, that's a good point. We well, do see an Eve of Harvest on Hammy now, so that's going to allow for some better sustain and energy regen on this scarf. It's interesting that he opted for it first, as opposed to getting uh, one of the other items like Shattered Glass or Broken Myth, or even a Frostburn. Yeah, I think it makes sense. I mean, we saw him low energy just trying to hold the waves off. Even, you know, he didn't have to go purchase items necessarily. He had the wave clear, but he didn't have the energy to sustain it. So we'll see how this is going to play out here. Nova trying to make their way up to the lanes. Like, I felt like Rogue had them actually kind of pincered off, but they let them up.
Yeah, they did let them up. We do see a tension bow on Pawn the original. He's going to be getting a lot of burst Pawn. damage coming out. Dead oh. rush onto Delphi. He's going to proc it. The impale catches with the evil. A nice three man get through. Wall of Silence comes out the other way. Oblivion as well. Doesn't land. Roger able to get out of that one with the help of the fountain from evil. Do they know that Pawn's actually still there? Oh, three man! To get the three man get the oh. wall. This guy just patting stats. I hope you guys got him on your on your I don't know what are your team that you're doing. <laughs> Alright, well, I mind blank. Doesn't matter. Just yeah. godly evil is playing like a god. Yeah, he's playing like a god. Lone Delphi got melted down by that dragon's breath right there. Really well done. Uh, nice. It was pretty obvious that it was being channeled, but the good thing about Scarf is he gets that uh, fortified health right before he uh you know right when he's channeling so it's able to sustain him for a little bit longer that gold mine is going over to the side of rogue immense gold payout collected that's what i meant to say in the moment a nice gold payout here coming through rogue really looking good probably feeling pretty good here in this series of course with nova taking game one like that you'd expect rogue to come back strong they're performing do you expect them to keep this momentum moving forward i expect them to keep this momentum because pond the original is on this cruel if I have learned anything in the last several weeks of casting, it's that Pond the Original and Cruel is a recipe for godlike play. Okay. What is it about his play that makes you feel that way? It, it's he's got such good utility. He's able to throw out these uh, from Hell's Hearts, especially when he's got them in them uh, to engage in the team fights and really just have them boomerang back, stun up one of the members of the enemy team for so long, and that uh, that which makes one of best engages that you can ever see. Nice impale, pawns there. He's gonna proc that tension bow off on Delphi. Delphi should be fine if he just gets corrected genius off, hangs around. The, I mean, evil has been so on point with these impales and get the walls. Now combat roll forward. Oh, he had an opportunity there as well. Look at them just sitting in that choke point. They're like, here, just hit us with your area of effect abilities right here. We're ready to be stunned. Yeah, it's not a good idea for them to hang out in this uh, this choke point in the mustache push because uh, we can just have some burning goop placed down right underneath them. Yeah, you gotta be so careful with your positioning here. Pawn, getting empowered up in the brush here. The Spitfire's just raining down. Delphi moves forward in the drifting dark. Pawn's got good positioning. Ooh, he might move forward here. Yeah, he does. Lone Delphi's getting up of Oblivion right underneath their feet here. Not enough, but from Hell's Heart and the Dragon's Breath is going to roast Truth down. A gauntlet's going to come out very defensively, trying to peel for Truth. Really, it's just holding Rogue back. They don't want to get in any deeper. I think they're going to be just happy enough to settle for the turret here. Yeah, they are. And there goes the turret. Ooh, very well done by Hammy. We know these scarfs. They can just take down objectives so quickly, and there goes that first turret. The, the first turret does have a little bit lower HP now compared to previous uh, updates, so it, it is going to fall sooner. It's going to give out a little bit less of a gold payout, but still, nonetheless, that gives up objective control over to the side of Rogue now, and that's going to open up this lane, open up the jungle to more invades from the top as well. All right, well, Truth... He has that Spitfire goop combo as he drops down to the shop. He's got Tornado Trigger up and ready to go. This is his second one. And we've seen this build happening time and time again. I, I like it most with the Fortress myself, but um, here in this composition, it makes sense to you. We saw a double Tornado Trigger on that uh, weapon-powered pedal yesterday. I wonder how it's going to pan out for Vox here, but if he can get off a lot of these basic attacks with these resonances, then he could do some serious damage, especially on uh, Hammy, the squishy member of Rogue. Hammy's done really well with his positioning thus far. 2-0-2. Two, two. I think a lot of credit to Hammy. He's also farming well in this game. Impale actually down. Eco getting caught out here. Eco's taking a lot of damage from Hell's Heart Connects. He wasn't able to block it as well. You're in a bad place. He's chopped down. Oh, oh no. Eco giving one for free. What was he doing there by himself? He's got to be really careful. They got to be able to maintain vision control of what's going on. If three members of Rogue are rotating together, there's got to be some scout traps down there in the bu in the tri bushes in the jungle shop. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay. So we actually saw he just got rooted there by that impale. There was nowhere for him to go. He got stunned up by that from Hell's Heart. Down came the goop. The Spectral Smite finished him off. Really good play, quick combos coming out of Rogue, and they were able to take that gold mine virtually free. Oh my god. I mean, they get the kill, they get the gold mine essentially for free. Nova can't afford to be making these uh, these mistakes right here, right now. Evil getting forward vision down, moving that vision line forward. And I really like to see that once you start to build an advantage on the map. Now, Rogue 
are grouped up as three. You can tell that they're ready to go. They have infusions on the jungle and carry. A nice flare comes out of eco, so they're not going to get caught by surprise. But at this point, you got to be so careful. And this is three items on Hammy. So while he's not ramping up that Broken Myth right now, he's still putting out consistent and strong damage. Yeah, consistent and strong damage. And I'm, I'm interested to see if he could actually sell off. Oh, he actually did. He sold off one of his defensive items right there. Picked a Piercing Shard. He's going to be working towards that Broken Myth. He knows that they're ahead right now. He can afford to go more offensively on this Scarf. So once he gets into these fights and he starts landing those abilities, he's going to be able to ramp up these Broken Myth stacks so much. And that's just going to increase the in insane damage coming out of the Scarf. Yeah, those big dragon, uh, dragon's breath. Once he's stacked up, my question that I'm looking at, I'm very curious. Pawn, he's sitting. Oh, there you go. Never mind. He just <laughs> bought his Aegis. He was he had like 1,800 gold saved up there, so I was wondering if he was just gonna finish that or move on somewhere else. Now, Pawn moves up from the bottom from Hell's Heart. Here, swing and a miss. Strike one. <laughs> Boomerang does not connect. Not gonna connect. All right, uh, MPL's not gonna miss as well. Rogue, <laughs> rogue. Maybe they're they're trying to debate Nova in by missing a couple abilities here. Now Rogue being slowed up. Evolve pops that healing flask so he can continue to front line for his team. You can tell Rogue definitely ready to fight, but they probably peel off of this one. Their infusions are timing out. Their infusions are timing out. We see that level nine infusion going down for Hammy. He could pick up another one. He's got he's got a lot of gold that he's sitting he has sitting in his pocket there, but it looks like they're turning their attention to the Decent gold finder. Gold payout collected. Yeah. Decent gold payout coming through here. There's your broken myth. Hammy, a real threat, and you know, it's, it's, I think it's one thing, Sean, when you hit your power spike and you're like, okay, we're ready to fight. It's another thing when you hit your power spike and you've got boots active. So they're going to rotate through here. He's going to get his infusion, have his boots ready to go, and be at full power spike. He's, he's completely ready. That's what's really important, Humanist. You can hit your power spikes, you can buy the right items, but you have to be able to capitalize on it. And if they can capitalize on getting infusions, getting these power spikes before the enemy team does, then they're going to be able to win these fights a lot easier. Uh, Eco throwing out some vision there. <laughs> Popping vision, too. Yeah, this is the game of vision right now. Eco. He's holding his own. I'll say, I think Evil's winning a little bit in that battle thus far, but back and forth flares are going to come out. Nova's been revealed. Let's see how they're going to play this. You know, Eco has this gauntlet, and I'd like to see them play it a little more aggressively. Now, he gets the Vanguard onto Truth. Truth just starts to apply damage onto Evil. Big damage coming out. Nice block on the From Hell's Heart. Delphi, a defensive drifting dark. You can see how Delphi was kind of predicting that fight might play out there. It's enough, though, for Nova to go ahead and cancel off the aggression. Very good reflex block coming out of Truth right there. If he had gotten hit by that from Hell's Heart, that would have been uh, upon the original all over him, reducing the damage he was doing with those weakness stacks, and they would have blew him up. But it looks like he's opting to just remain with the reflex block and maybe even pick up an Aegis to reduce the damage coming out of that Scarf. Uh, and that's going to be great for him to be able to continue to block these from Hell's Hearts. Yeah, it really will be. I mean, honestly... At this point, it, th these fights could go either way. They're, you know, they're Nova down in net worth, but Truth with a breaking point, that is a scary thing. As long as he gets a nice Vanguard, maybe he's able to, to block an Atlas or something like that. These guys should apply a lot of damage. It's all about, can he stay out of Hammy's Spitfire and group? Yeah, he's got to still position very, very well. He's only had one death so far compared to the rest of his teammates, but uh, it, I would like to Eco. see him actually... Oh! War treads. Vanguard over the wall oh. from downtown. Get some. Yeah, I would actually like to see Truth uh, sell off one of those tornado triggers. Maybe opt for a Sora Blade to get more uh, flat damage in there uh, so that he can ramp up the damage even better. And looks like there's some aggression here. All right, Evil over the wall. Two man give the ball. It actually catches on that dead turret. No, Gauntlet is out from Hell's Heart. It's going to connect onto Truth, but a Gauntlet's still zoning. The pawn walks around the side. He's got the damage. Dragon's Breath being wound up. Truth, can they burn him down? Yes, they can. Sonic zooming his heart off, but it wasn't enough. And Hammy dropping low. Lone Delphi does not want to commit just yet. Four seconds for a Drifting Dark. If he finds the positioning, he might go for it. Nine broken mist stacks at this point. There's the Drifting Dark. He needs Corrupted Genius as well. And he's, he's just going to play this one safe. Yeah, you can't blame him for that one. That was a really cool team fight, even though it didn't end up in a lot of kills for uh, for the teams. We actually saw Truth going down very quickly after he was hit by that From Hell's Heart. And good positioning coming out upon the original. He actually went around the gauntlet, not getting stunned up by it, and took Truth down. 
Yeah, that was actually pretty funny. He was just tracing the gauntlet running around the, the top left side of that thing there. But Rogue, they're going to go ahead and take the Kraken here. So this will be marching forward. And, of course, you know, with the Scarf, so incredibly good at pushing behind this Kraken. Oh, yeah, and they've actually got to be really careful here. We see so many teams end up getting the Kraken, and they're not able to play it low and slow, right? So they end up just... Uh... Ju they, they end up just losing the team fights around the Kraken. If they can just play around the Kraken, let her do some of her work, and then wait for Nova to make a mistake, push too far forward, they could be able to take this and maybe even end the game right here. Well, Nova waiting on that gauntlet. It's only a couple seconds off. At this point, they're going to start to just chip onto the Kraken. And I think this is a smart play. Now, Truth's rooted up from Hell's Heart, locked off. Very good job. Wait for it does come out here, but... Hammy's already built up a couple broken mist stacks of his own. Oblivion's out. The gauntlet as well, just zoning. Nova, very focused on this Kraken. Now, Dragon's Breath from Hammy as he winds up moving forward, burning Nova down, doing a good job, but he peels back. Pawn's on the front side now. Pawn taking a lot of damage. The chase is on. Truth moving forward. Truth has got to avoid these Spitfires. Kraken takes down the choke point for it. Both these teams are trading so incredibly well right now. You can tell this fight is on just a knife's edge from going either way. Now, Evil finds a stun. Spitfire from Old Wall. 500 Hey, damage. It's good. Oh, Eagle. Oh, the Vanguard's not enough. Nova, lose Lone Delphi, they'll be able to take the Kraken down, but man, Rogue were really nice uh, in juggling that whole damage there. Very well done with the echo I of the Githian so wall, you. double Githian wall, onto Lone Delphi, stunned him up for so long, he had nowhere to go, and down he went, okay, but thankfully, that with the distraction of them going after him, let's go ahead and take a look at the replay there. So they're, they're actually pushing with the Kraken right here. And... Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and throw it back to the fight. Yeah, Pawn actually able to find the kill there. And uh, that's a, it, it, just Truth a little bit overstepping himself one more time. I feel like Truth is just I, I, overconfident. <laughs> the word. He's got to he's gotta sell off one of those Sorrow Blades there, Humanist. It, it, it's, he's just not doing enough damage here. He's, he's able to ramp up the damage with those uh, breaking point stacks, sure, but uh, it, it's just it's just not the best situation for him right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay again. So we actually saw Spitfires connecting really well, taking Truth and Lodelphi down, chunking damage. Good block on that from Hell's Heart, uh, but uh, and then Drifting Dark comes out, and this is where the team fight went kind of wrong. Sure, they were able to zone out the remainder of Rogue with that gauntlet, but I don't think they capitalized that they weren't able to do enough damage and then we, we just had rogue come in through that choke point they weren't scared and with the double githian wall that we actually get to see later on that's where they were able to take out lone delphi and and now the base is broken the choke point turret is down we only have two crystal turrets remaining for the side of nova oh man tough place to be in but i believe in nova at this point truth has fresh weapon infusion ready to go eco's infused Delphi, uh, yeah, he's got one in his pocket as well, so may, may, maybe a decent fight here. Can make it happen now. Eco getting lit up. Eco, if you, oh, you saw that get the welcome in the front of Hellsheart as well. Eco, no, the gauntlet comes out. It's maybe potentially split rope. This is an opportunity for Nova. They turned it up. Delphi supplying the damage in the Drifting Dart, the Ballast and Burning. Oh. They turned it. Evil's down. Unbelievable. They've done it, Sean. Now they're going to be looking for more. Who will it be? A Sonic Zoom from Truth. Avoiding the Spitfires, doesn't want to stand in that goop. It looks like they're oh. going to be happy just to be able to take that one for right now. Oh. Dragon's Breath, Hammy. Oh, oh. almost got to like, oh, <laughs> teleport. That would have been a kill for sure. That would have been a kill for sure. We had six broken mid stacks out on Hammy. He would have just melted through Lone Delphi right there. But as you know, you don't want to lose a team fight during the Kraken. And the Kraken is up right now, getting melted oh. by Pond the Original and Hammy. Nova. Nova. What's the play, Rogue? What you gonna do? Drifting Dark comes oh. out. Pawn's able to steal it. Pawn, the original, the Kroll God. Now, can he get himself out of here is the question. Hammy trying to apply damage, but you're in a tricky place here. Hammy even gets his own mid. Nova's gonna let go. They're gonna draw back, of course, for the Kraken. They can't afford to chase here. Get kited out by any means. Another win for Rogue. Another win. This is what you gotta do late game. You gotta control the objectives. And in the late game, the objective objectives are taking the turrets and taking the kraken that's all you can do everybody's pretty much at full build here nova is just going to have to keep kiting this kraken and rogue needs to play carefully here they're doing a really good job now they're up eight thousand almost eight thousand gold here and we, we have them at nine to two kills at 21 minutes in
I, I feel like if they just play it really well here, get some more weakness stacks off, throw down some more of those From Hell's Hearts, it's available, they're going to be able to win this game. Let's see, Gauntlet's down, first aggressive play actually happening, Pawn dropping low, the Fountain's out, Pawn stays alive, Oblivion comes over the top side, Pawn goes down to the Battle of Subvert from Lone Delphi, they're on the chase now, Hammy dropping Spitfires and Goops as he backs off, Evil tries to buy enough time, enough for Hammy to get out of there. But this is going to be Nova dropping back to take down the crack and keep that last turret on a sliver of health here. Nova are still in this game. They are still in this game. I, I, I'm actually astounded that they were able to repel these attacks. But it, it looks like a Rogue just overextended. And that overextension for the Kraken push is what cost them to the members of their team. Such a good fight happening here between both of these squads. I'm, you know... I, I didn't expect Nova to necessarily just run over this series, but sometimes, like, through the performance in Game 1, I was like, okay, this Nova squad looks really good. Uh-oh, Truth gets the Vanguard. Hammy's in a bad place. Breaking point stacking up. Hammy's going to oh. go down as Truth chases them behind two oh. turrets there. Wow. Man! Th this is the kind of wild card you have with Truth on this team. Like, sometimes it feels like you're safe, but you're not. Wow, is this game gonna swing the other way, Humanist? We have ace buff minions here pushing yeah. under this turret. They're gonna be able to take this turret. Oh, good block. Yeah, block from Hell's Heart coming out there. A nice job. And Nova will stay as three. Uh, interesting coming out here. Just kind of uh, impale attempts to lock Nova down, potentially delay their tactics at this point. Nova will drop down towards that Crystal Sentry. And I think Rogue probably will wait until they're they're at full strength Crystal with the Scarf Sentry to really make a play. Defeated. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay of this. So we see here that Truth was actually coming in. He Sonic zooms in, gets a Vanguard as well, so he's able to take these turret shots very, very well with that fortified health takes down the Scarf and he's able to egress and get right in between the turrets so he takes no damage. Nice plays indeed. Now, we are 23 and a half minutes in. Rogue are up 9 to 5. Got a small net worth lead. Evil moves down. Nice uh, job to engage this fight from Hell's Heart. It's going to come down the impale. Dragon's Breath as well, but Oblivion down on the top side. Hammy, it's blocked off. Rogue are on the chase. They're burning them down. Truth will go down first. That's not what you needed, Nova. You needed to keep the Vox alive. Let's build the breaking point stacks. Eagle will be able to teleport out. Uh, from the, the shot brush down there, but this is going to be Kraken going the way of Rogue, barring a miracle, right? This is going to be Kraken going to Rogue on the leash with only one crystal turret remaining. This looks like it's Rogue's game right here, unless they, gotta steal they it. can contest. They can steal, they, yeah, they sure. they got to steal it. Isn't this, it, this is, is going to be GG. It's going to be is... GG. they got to get in their pawns, going to look to activate the Spectral Might. Yeah, he's got it. Hemi secure is that. Now, this is going to be Lone Delphi getting stunned up with Eco. The two-man getting walled. The two-man impel in coming through. Evil playing like an absolute god from Hell's Heart. Connects onto Eco. Get stunned back. There's nowhere to go. Rogue are at your door. They're going to tie this series up one-to-one. -one. They're going to be knocking on that crystal just in a quick minute. And they don't even need the Kraken. She's way too back there, Humanist. This was an excellent game coming out upon the original Hammy and Evil with those godlike impales and Githian walls echoed. Well played by Rogue. So well played. I mean, Evil making a case is like one of the best captains in North America definitely right now with his performance. I, have, I look sometimes and I'm like, wait, nope, Gabe's not in this game. They, yeah, that was Evil making the plays. I don't know how I I was ho I'm hoping Bacon was counting how many three man Githian walls this man got this game but we'll see